Danny Flexen here for seconds out with Liam Davis due to challenge for the vacant English bantamweight title on Saturday night um, at Wembley Arena. In isolation at the moment, presumably? Yeah, that's it. Stuck in my room at the minute. <laughs> Are you? Um, do you still get kind of the fight week buzz, if you like? Because obviously Wembley Arena, Sky Sports, with that crowd aside, it's still a pretty big show. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's still the same buzz for me anyway. I don't know about everyone else, but still the same for me. Can't wait, man. And you um, you were going to headline your own show, I believe, in Telford. Are you from Donington in Telford? You were going to headline your own show back in April, just before the board um, suspended all shows because of COVID. You must have been pretty devastated at the time, but I guess now maybe doesn't seem so bad now you've got this opportunity. Oh, yeah, it was a bit um, bit of pill to swallow at the time. She was only like two weeks out, but I feel like I landed on my feet with this opportunity and that's why I'm here, to make the most of it and um, make up for the setbacks we have had. And it was due to be the first show in Telford in a number of years and the, the previous one, I believe, your father was on, uh, Tristan yeah, Davis, but, um, former Midlands lightweight champion. Was, were you always destined to go into boxing because you grew up around it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, I've always um, been very interested in boxing. And um, like I say, this this was always the plan. So I just feel like finally getting there now. And um, got to make sure I do the business. Did you used to go and watch your dad's fights when he was active? Oh, yeah, all the time. No, I was at shows even if my dad weren't fighting we'd go and watch some or we had the amateur gym where my granddad was running and we'd have home shows there so there's loads of um pictures and got plenty of memories from being young around the sport that's great stuff and you turned pro 2018 i think you fought five or six times the year the next year are you a pretty big ticket seller you're out quite often so i'm guessing that there's a reason behind it yeah, I got a good um, fan base, but more than anything, I just wanted to be active and push, push on. Not have two, three fights a year like some of the lads do and wait about. I'm here to give it a good go. And tell us a little bit about your amateur career. So, when did you start? What, what you know, level did you get to? That kind of thing. Do you know, I think I had my first fight like two weeks after my eleventh birthday. So soon as I could fight, I um, did. I had 100 amateurs. Um, I won the schoolboys. I didn't do so great in the juniors. And um, got to semis, final, never won nothing. Same as a senior, really. I got to the final twice. One time I come back, one time I thought I was unlucky. So been there, thereabouts. But I had 100 fights. And uh, I fought pretty much everyone, all the top lads. So, And as an amateur and, and more recently as a young pro, who are the kind of boxers that you've looked up to and, and that you've kind of patterned yourself after to an extent or taken elements from? Well, like boxing-wise, I like, like Linares and style-wise like them, but I'd say there's a lot of the British lads like Joshua, um, Conor Ben headline in this show. You got Callum Smith. Look up to all them. Like say they're um, all doing massive things, and they're sort of living my dream. Which hopefully we can step, keep stepping up and get to that level soon. So, but yeah, my favourite fight is probably in an RS style wise. And before the um, Telford show was cancelled because of COVID, it was looking like you were going to challenge for the English belt against Mark Leach, who since moved up whether temporarily or not, to Super Bantam. How does uh, Sean Cairns compare as an opponent to Mark Leach? It, you know, style-wise, is it a bit of a change? Uh, I don't think so. I think they're both southpaw, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe that Cairns is a bit taller. Um, not too sure, really. We'll find out Saturday. But I was, in, I, I was impressed with Leach. He, um, he won well on his outing, so fair play to him. And... I'd say their fights in the future, aren't they? Like, I just got to win this and then them kind of fights can be set up, hopefully. And we've seen um, 
you've got a win over Brett Fido. He's beaten Sean Cairns in the past. Can we read too much into that, or, or is it not that simple? Do you know what? Um, I ain't read too much into it. People can, but that's not really the way I roll. I just I don't really care what he's done in the past, or I'm not all about Saturday night, and I I'm not taking trying to take confidence from any other performance or looking for any mistakes. I just know I'll turn up and I'll win. And tell us a bit about your um, situation. Are you a full time pro? Are you working at the same time? Well, yeah, the uh, last couple of weeks I've been off work, but I was working through the pandemic just because I've got a house and bills, so I had to find work. But, yeah, when the f- fight was called back up, I was back training, and luckily I got good sponsors and people that helped me out and get through that time without working so I could train and be full-time with the boxing. What, what were you doing during the pandemic for, for a living? Oh, I worked in the... Um, MOD, Ministry of Defence, in um, Donington. And then I went from there because I was working in like the factory. I, I wasn't like active as much. So I went on the bins just to keep running and stuff and just keep really energetic. So I've been on the bins the last couple of, last 10 weeks before obviously I stopped. Stopped about three weeks ago, I think. It's a shame there's no crowds at the moment. That probably would have been a good way of selling even more tickets. Oh, yeah, definitely. So hopefully, like I say, when the show's back on, I can win this belt and we can get back to Telford and defend it and we can have a big show again because it was selling out. Everything was going really well. Sold the place out and it's just one of them things. But I do definitely feel like we've landed on my feet with this shot. How does it? What does it mean to you? Not just fighting on Sky Sports, but a historic venue like Wembley Arena. Even though there's no crowd there, it's still a big deal, right? Yeah, hundred percent, a big deal. But just because the way I'm looking at it, if you was normal about the pandemic and stuff, you wouldn't be in the bubble, and it won't be, it won't go the way it's going. So I'm just going to enjoy the experience and um, soak it all up, really. And um, just tell us about your training setup. So whereabouts do you train, who your head trainer is, who's going to be in the corner on fight night? Yeah, so my dad's my head trainer. I train at um, Donton Boxing Club in BCB under Errol Johnson's my manager. Also trains me and Paul Mann. And then I do my strength and conditioning with um, a guy called Simon Baverstock, Plyo Fit in Telford. So, yeah. And I train in my amateur gym still with um, Andy Matthew. I've known many, many years, so I've got a good, good little setup, really. Well, what's it like having your dad as the main man in the corner? You obviously spend a lot of time together outside the gym as well. Is, is it all kind of harmonious, or, or are there some like fiery moments? What's it like? Uh, nah, I'd say well, it's not all flowers and roses, like, <laughs> but he knows how to bring the best out of me, and that's that's what you need sometimes. And um, we got a really good understanding of each other. And I'm just glad it, like we can enjoy the experience together, really, because it's been, ain't come overnight. I've been boxing many, and many years. So I'm just glad he's here to enjoy the experience with me. And you said earlier about needing to work to pay the bills and so on. Are you, have you got your own family yet? Are you, are you married? Have you got kids? No, no kids. I live in, um, I've got a house, me and my partner my girlfriend so yeah um kids in the future (laughs) good stuff and just before we let you go tell people out there how they can find you on social media so they can get to know you a bit better so instagram i'm liam davis one i think twitter i'm liam davis one too and then just liam davis on facebook so hit me up i'm quite quiet on there i need to pick it up a bit really but Maybe this will be the, the kick up the arse you need, you know, winning the English title, you have to be a bit more active on social media. Then. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Great stuff. Well, wish you the very best of luck for Saturday night. Obviously, you'll be watching on Sky Sports, so I look forward to it. I appreciate it. Thank you, my mate. Cheers, mate. Take care. Have a good night. And Cheers. Yeah, speak soon. Bye. Bye-bye.